of endangered animals and plants. Schedule 1 and Schedule 3 of the Ordinance, respectively, list animals and plants classified as endangered species. Schedule 6 lists animals and plants classified as highly endangered species. According to the definition of the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species, an endangered species is an animal or plant species that is facing a very high risk of extinction in the wild in the near future. are extinct creatures. ...lists of threatened animals and plants since 1966. The latest edition is the 2000 Red List of Endangered Species. hundred years. Currently, 50 species of animals and plants have been declared extinct in the wild and are now represented only by small numbers of individuals kept in captivity. Meanwhile, 11,039 species of animals and plants are threatened. The Red List classifies threatened species under three categories, namely critically endangered, endangered and vulnerable. 1,938 species of animals and plants have been listed as critically endangered. 2,616 species of animals and plants have been listed as endangered. Following the practice of the IUCN, many countries now publish their own national lists of endangered animals and plants. They also introduced laws to protect endangered species. The Chinese government has published lists of state-protected wild animals and plants. It categorizes them into two classes. Class 2 species are equivalent to IUCN's endangered species and Class 1 species are equivalent to IUCN's critically endangered species. In 1973, delegates of many countries met in Washington and signed the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, abbreviated as CITES. Under CITES, all participating countries promise to cooperate in regulating international trade in endangered animal and plant species. Under the Animals and Plants Protection of Endangered Species Ordinance of Hong Kong, the so-called highly endangered species are equivalent to those designated by the IUCN Red List as critically endangered species. According to the IUCN Red List definition, critically endangered species are highly susceptible to extinction in the near future. 
the giant panda is the most critically endangered animal species. Its body is fat and round. Its paws have hairless pads, like those of the cat. At present, about 1,000 giant pandas live in the wild or in captivity. The Chinese government has classified the giant panda as a Class 1 state-protected animal species. The young Chinese white dolphin is black. As it grows, the body of the male turns pinkish-white, mottled with darker spots. The adult female is pink. In Hong Kong, Chinese white dolphins are found mainly in the waters off the western shore of Chun Mun and to the north of Lantau Island. They are particularly abundant near the small islands known as the Brothers, Sha Chow and Lung Ku Chow. Detailed research in the last few years reveals that Hong Kong waters contain 85 to 163 Chinese white dolphins. It is estimated that there may be about 1,000 of these dolphins in the Pearl River estuary, of which those in the Hong Kong waters are just a small portion. On the other hand, the lack of adequate research data on the Chinese white dolphin in other areas has led the IUCN to classify this species under the data deficient category in its red list. The Chinese government, however, has classified the Chinese white dolphin as a Class 1 state protected animal species. In Hong Kong, the green turtle is listed as a highly endangered species. The legs of the turtle are shaped like the oars of a rowing boat and are well adapted for swimming. On the front of each foreleg is a hook that enables the turtle to tear the body of its prey when feeding. In Hong Kong, green turtles have frequently been seen in the sea around Lama Island, off the southeastern shores of Hong Kong Island, and in various places in the Sai Kung waters. In July and August, female green turtles swim from the remote ocean to the shallow waters close to shore. They then crawl up the beach, lay eggs, and return to sea. A green turtle may lay over 100 eggs at a time. The baby turtles are able to crawl down the beach and swim to the open sea as soon as they hatch. The giant salamander is the world's largest tailed amphibian. Its head is flat and rounded. The mouth is exceptionally large and the eyes very small. The two nostrils are located on the upper lip. There are prominent skin folds on the lateral surfaces of the neck. The sound it makes is often mistaken for a baby's cry. The giant salamander is unique to China. It has been classified as a Class II state-protected animal species by the Chinese government and a highly endangered species under the laws of Hong Kong. This fish is named the Asiatic bony tongue. There are three varieties. This is a silver dragonfish. This is a golden dragonfish. And this is a red dragonfish. The Asiatic bony tongue is a carnivorous freshwater fish endemic to Malaysia and Indonesia. Under the Animals and Plants Protection of Endangered Species Ordinance of Hong Kong, anyone owning an Asiatic bony tongue fish must acquire a license from the Agriculture, Fisheries and Conservation Department. 
the Asiatic bony tongue can easily be identified by its caudal fin, dorsal fin and anal fin, which are tall but short at the base. Other examples of highly endangered species are the red panda, the dugong, the spotted linsang, black-faced spoonbills migrate south along China's eastern coast. About half of the population may winter in Taiwan. The rest head further south. About half of those arrive in Hong Kong in November, where they winter at Maipo marshes and in a deep bay. The others fly on to Vietnam. And birthwort is rather rare in Hong Kong. The birdwing butterfly is classified as an endangered animal species under the Animals and Plants Protection of Endangered Species Ordinance. These pitcher plants belong to a local species listed as endangered in the Animals and Plants Protection of Endangered Species Ordinance.
Only that, the tester of the orchid seed consists of just a single layer of cells, which is not strong enough to protect the embryo inside. As a result, there is very little chance of an orchid seed germinating and developing into an adult plant. The second factor is ecological defects of the orchid. and red helen butterflies feed solely on the leaves of Indian birthworts. If Indian birthworts cannot survive natural disasters or human destruction, then both species of butterfly are doomed. The third factor is mankind's destruction of the organism's natural habitats. People in various countries destroy forests areas, factories, and farmland drain into rivers and the sea, resulting in mass death of aquatic organisms. Due to a fad for eating wildlife cuisine in Hong Kong and nearby mainland cities, numerous wild animals have been captured and brought to restaurants to be treated as foodstuff. Some animals and plants are killed and processed to produce expensive materials for traditional medicine. On the other hand, people all over the world enjoy cultivating flowers and breeding Millionaires like to dress in tiger skin or leopard skin. Some people like handbags made of crocodile skin and ornaments made of turtle shell. Or they may decorate their rooms with ivory handicrafts and animal specimens. In short, numerous wild animals and plants have been threatened with extinction due to our ignorant, greedy and cruel behaviour. Human beings are not entitled to exploit or kill wild animals and plants. Humans must honour the right of animal and plant species to survive.